And we come to you from one of the truly iconic stadiums in the NFL as you get a look at Lambeau Field here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the Chicago Bears taking on the Green Bay Packers. And now the Bears coming out as they get ready. So from the 36 now, first and 10. The drive will start with an option going left. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. So it's the big left tackle who gets tagged with a hold. And sometimes you're actually executing the block well, and he starts to slip off of you. And instinctively, you reach out and grab him. And when it's done like that, it's often seen by the official and called. Fields passing on the first play from scrimmage. And he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards that time. They run with a fourth round pick, Roshan Johnson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and six. Now it's Fields. There's a short throw. It's caught by Komet. And he'll go out of bounds after taking a little further down inside the 40. Short completion, just four yards. And now two yards to go on third down. That was an okay hook up there with his tight end, but unfortunately, they didn't get the kind of yards they had hoped for. That's going to bring up third down. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. That is not going to be any help as they dump it behind the line of scrimmage. They went backwards five yards there on third down to bring up fourth. Well, sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion, and I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up, and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. The Green Bay offense ready to take over. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. A guy coming off a career high in rushing yards last year. Here's Aaron Jones. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. It's a gain of 12, and the Packers have the first. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Look at this. Metal Inside the 20. Touchdown, Packers! Aaron Jones, 72 yards. And the Packers are on the very first here this afternoon. And with his speed, if he just finds the slightest crease, he can take it the distance like he did there. How about the leverage up front? Offensive line out leveraging the defensive front to create that space, that crease that he was looking for. And once he hits open field, he's going to be very difficult to catch and corral.
Wilson after the touchdown called on to send this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Chicago works their way back onto the field here for their second drive of the game. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and 10. They'll start out here with the option left. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. Second and six, just inside the 30. Field's going to keep it once more. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Throwing on third down, Fields. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Was Sean Gary that time fighting free and getting to the quarterback? After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. The Bears with the football. We get set to begin quarter number two as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here comes Reed. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Packers offense here coming back out for their second drive. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they'd really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they have one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window, he fired a bullet in there for the completion. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. Now a first down carry by Jones, shedding the tackle. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 104 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. This guy is well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage, and we're still in the second quarter. Love now to pass on first down. This complete to the tight end, Tucker Kraft. So a decent gain there, but not their fourth consecutive first down like they had on the first three plays. You sound almost disappointed that you won't find the offensive coordinator on that one. <laughs> They've gotten into a rhythm. I thought they were just going to keep going. Well, almost a win for the defense, but if that's your win, you're not doing very well right now. Throwing. Love. Touchdown, Packers! Romeo Dobbs, a 22-yard touchdown ground. And the Packers go up by two touchdowns. Another impressive drive, so they're two for two. Two touchdowns, Charles. A great start to this ballgame for them. 
And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. back out there now to send this one away. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. The Chicago offense set to get started. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive but at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Game four. It's now second and six. Second and six. Here's Fields. That's complete right side to commit. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Fields to commit there for a Chicago first. When you struggle on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. On first down, Fields. That's complete to Mooney. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 30. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six. And that'll make it second down. A six-yard pickup comes up second and four. Fields now to throw. able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. From the gun, here's Fields. Over the middle, and that's caught by Kmet. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that will bring up second down. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now Fields. And this will be caught by Mooney. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. A seven-yard pickup. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Second down and three. Out of the gun, Fields. A throw left side taken in by Komet. 
That one goes for 16 yards. It sets him up first and goal. Seems as if the passing attack starting to heat up a little bit here in the second quarter. You can sense and you can see the momentum because now they're reading their patterns downfield. They're understanding the coverages and they're finding the open holes in the defense. Over the middle complete. That's Johnson. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. Santos kick is up and through. So a conservative decision there, but it does put him on the board. And I know the players hate it and the coaches hate it, but sometimes you just got to take the points when they're there. Sometimes a field goal is pretty darn good. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. So it's the Packers set to receive the kick. They've got the lead as well as we are underway in the third quarter. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Packer offense ready to go to begin this third quarter. And they've got the lead, CD. What do you expect from them in this second half? Well, I like what they were able to do on the ground in the first half because they had a lot of success running the ball, and I certainly think we'll see more of that. But I'd keep an eye on that defense, and I think their coaches up in the box will do the exact same thing. If they start to see one or two guys start to creep towards the line of scrimmage, that'll be license to take some shots downfield. And this will be a Packers first down as he's able to get this up past the 40. We don't talk about it very often, but sometimes there's a dip in intensity when you start the second half, which can manifest itself in some sloppy tackling. And how about right there? He ran right through that weak tackle attempt. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. He's having a big game running the football, but that one will hurt the yards per carry a little bit. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? Now a second down throw for Love here. And he'll go down. The Bears get there for the sack. Jaquan Brisker getting sent on the safety blitz, and he was able to finish it off. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly, because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. And some room to maneuver. 
And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. 15 yards is the pick up there, and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Now that run, that's exactly why you stay with the running game. You don't abandon it totally. You stick with it, keep telling your guys to stay motivated, and they found a crease on that play. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And maybe the wrong read there as he's going to go down immediately. Big Kenny Clark that time pushing up field to make the tackle for loss. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half. And that trend is continuing here. So a step in the wrong direction. Now they'll look to make amends on second and 14. Field's going to keep it once more. And he'll be tackled just past the 35 at the 36. He'll get five out of the keeper, but now it's third down. Oh, man, that wasn't far from breaking in a big way into the secondary. Read option, quarterback kept it. And while he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yardage. Only a nice tackle prevented it from maybe going all the way. Fields. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Here comes the Bears punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. The Packers offense set to go. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Love's throw brought in by Watson. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. So eight yards on the completion there, and that'll bring up a second down in just a couple. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. Off the play fake, Love. On the out route, Dobbs brings it in. He had the touchdown earlier. This one's going to get him a first down. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take and go like turtle at this point. You can just go ahead and play. They'll try and run some clock now with Jones. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 128 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Brandon, every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I can be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. On second down, it's Jones. Gets around him. And he will get enough for a first down, and that will lead us to the two-minute warning. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit.
After the penalty, it's Jones. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Second and long, but you got to figure this almost certainly another run. Love going to give this one to Jones. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Here's Love. And this pass broken up. But the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On now is the Packers punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds, and they spot it at the, at the 15 yard line. Not too bad. So now Fields and the Bears down by 11, a minute 39 to go. It's been a struggle to score all day, and now they need to do it twice here late to have a chance. Now a first down throw, Fields. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. Back to throw, Fields. He's got Mooney and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. The Lambeau faithful making as much noise as they can. It's third down. Here's Fields. Gets this to Moore. He's going to have the first down and then so. He's still on his feet. Touchdown, Chicago! DJ Moore, 79 yards. And the Bears have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. Oh, no, he lost the football. And that is ball picked up by the offense. But here in the final two minutes of the game, this will be blown dead. Only the fumble can advance the football. So this will go back to the spot of the fumble itself. So they got one of the two touchdowns they needed. Now for the onside kick. And this one's going to be covered up by the Packers' hands team. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Well, another drive coming up for this Packers offense. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. Cheat code. 
The Packers looking to get out of here with a win as they take the knee. them take the knee there and finish this one off I feel like I'm gonna be sore tomorrow this was one bruising affair low scoring but my kind of football not a work of art but maybe in your world a little bit of a work of art you I, like the defensive side I thought it was pretty I can't help myself <laughs> I thought it was pretty and it ends in a kneel down as the clock rolls down to zeros what a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gold.